Welcome to the Getting Started course. In this video, we'll take a look at using the GitHub repository that is a part of the resources for this course. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fork the GitHub repository into your workspace, import the application from your GitHub workspace into AppSmith, and also switch between branches corresponding to checkpoints in this course. You're going to find a link to the course GitHub repository homepage in the video description. Once you have that opened up, you'll be taken to the course repo homepage and you can actually go ahead to fork this repository by hitting the fork button. You want to ensure that the repository name is good to go and uncheck the box so that you can copy all branches including other checkpoints. Then create a fork by hitting the create fork button. And now a copy of the course repository is in your GitHub account. You can take a look at the branches and you'll notice you not only have the master branch, but other branches corresponding to checkpoints in this course. Now to have this course imported into your AppSmith workspace, you want to go on to copy the SSH URL of your repository. You don't have to worry about setting up SSH because this is going to be handled by AppSmith. So go on to copy the SSH URL and then head over to AppSmith so that it can be imported. Under your workspace settings, go on to click the import button and you want to select the import from Git option. Go on to paste in the SSH URL you copied over from GitHub and then generate an SSH key to be used to authenticate AppSmith when deploying to GitHub. So go on to copy the generated SSH key and back in GitHub, you want to go into your repository settings. Look for the option that says deploy keys and you want to go on to create a new deploy key. You have to give this key a name, for instance, AppSmith deploy key, and then you paste in the key contents into the next input. It's important to give AppSmith write access. This is going to ensure AppSmith is able to not only read the repository content, but also push content or push codes to the repository. Then go on to click on the add key button. All right, and now we have that key added. Heading back into AppSmith, now you can click on the import button. And as you can see, we have the application imported into our AppSmith workspace from the GitHub repository. Now, something interesting you'll notice is that we have all of those same branches you saw on GitHub within AppSmith. So you can switch to a future checkpoint so that you can take a look at both the widgets and also the JavaScript code written at that point to make the app interactive. We can also switch to a different branch, say the seventh branch, for instance, which is going to have a more fleshed out version of this application. And as you can see, we have more features in this app compared to the previous branch you saw. And this is also going to include the code samples and the logic written to make the app interactive. We can head back to the master branch, which has the completed code. And this is going to have everything you need in one place. So that is how easy it is to fork the course repository into your GitHub workspace and also to have the app imported and we're also taking a look at switching branches to view various checkpoints of this course. Now in the next video, we'll get into building this application and we're going to start by working on a feature that displays to-dos on the application. See you in the next video.